Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore the basics of building a real-time application using ASP.NET Core Signal R with JavaScript. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So this video, we will actually create a web project. We will add a Signal R client library. You will create a Signal R hub, configure the project to use Signal R and then add JavaScript client code. So to get started, obviously you need to have at least the Visual Studio 2019, the community version at least. So if you've got that be sorted out, open the Visual Studio. So once you open it, I'm, I actually have it open with a blank, nothing inside. So we, I'll go back to the start window. So once you open it, you'll be at this start window. So what you gotta have to do is you click on the create a new project. So here we get the create a new project dialog here. So we select the applicable project, which is the ASP.NET Core web application. So we select the ASP.NET Core web application. We click on the next. So here you can configure the project details. We're not gonna look into that. I'm just gonna click on the create. So once you click on the create, then we will actually be prompted with another dialog, which says to create a new ASP.NET Core web application. So we're just going to choose the web application bit here. So we're not going to configure anything here. We're just gonna leave it as it is. So we're gonna click on the create. So as you can see here now, we've got a project being created now. So I'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing works out. So while we've got the project created, I will speak briefly about what Signal R really is. So ASP.NET Core Signal R is a library for ASP.NET Core developers that simplifies the process of adding real-time web functionalities to applications. Real-time web functionalities is the ability to have server code push content to connected clients instantly as it becomes available. So I hope I hope this helps you from the for the start so let's get to it so as you can see here now we've got the, the new project created like your usual asp.net core web application so we've got pages here which contains the, the the index page the privacy and whatnot and the error page then we've got the shared bit which contains the layout as well so we've got the ww root folder which also contains the the script the css and other um, JavaScript libraries. So let's get to it then. So now what we would do is actually we right click, right click the project. So it's, it's actually going to show here. So once we right click the project, we go to add and then we add a client side library. So this is what will actually be opened. So here, the provider, we choose the UNPKG. Then um, at the li library, we type um, at Microsoft. Forward slash signal R at latest so we select the latest here so this is what we are going to put inside the library so as you can see here we've got this bit um, up here so we just gonna uncheck this bit here So here, we come inside this bit here. So we come inside the disk, the browser, and then the signal R. We're going to select the signal R and the map, and then, and then signal R minified one. So here, the target location, we're going to select the WW folder. So we're going to select the WW root folder.
So inside the W, then, then the JS. So we remove the the last forward slash as well. So this is what we're gonna leave inside the target location. Then we click on the install. So we've got the installation completed. So we can look at it here. So as you can see, we've got the Signal R folder created here with a disk browser and then the Signal R .js inside. Yeah. So the next bit, of course, is we we actually create a new folder. New folder. Then we call it hubs. And then inside the new folder. We add a new class. The class we call it Chat Hub. So here is a public chat hub. So we actually inherit the hub. We inherit the hub. So here we can correct it by referencing the using asp.net calls.signal r so we've got that bit sorted out yeah so we create a very simple method it's a public async task and we call it send message so inside here we've got um string user and then string message so here we're just gonna put the clients dot all dot send async So inside here, we're gonna put a the client method to invoke it. It's a receive message. And then we have um, the user and the message. And the message. Okay, so here, the before the clients, uh, we're going to put the await, just to wait for the, and then, we come inside the, the startup, so inside the startup, on the services, add uh, services, we put the services, dot add, signal R, And then we scroll down to the endpoints here, just after the map razor. So we could say endpoint endpoint dot map hub map hub. So we put our chat hub inside here. So inside here we put um, forward slash chat hub. So this will actually be mapped to this endpoint. So we come um, inside the pages, then we op open the index. So we're going to remove this bit here, this bit. So now I'm just going to write the HTML. I'm going to pause it and write it, so, and I'm just going to show you. So you can pause it, look at it, and write it yourself. OK, so this is the HTML code that I've got. So this has got a basic, this, this row. 
is a is takes the input and the mess like the username the message input and then the send button and then this bit also handles the, the message being received yeah so you can pause it you can have a look pause you can pause it and then and then writing just get back to the the video again so i'm just gonna leave this bit here as it is so we come inside uh the js so inside the js we're gonna add a new a new javascript so add a new item So we choose the web, scroll down. So we add the JavaScript. So here we're gonna call it chat.js. So it's got nothing inside. So we come to back to the index. I'm just gonna drag the chat.index here. So we're just gonna use the reference. And then we're gonna use the the, the signal all as well so basically we're going to use both references here so we come back inside the chat so here also I'm just gonna um, write it the very quickly the JavaScript and then we can have a look at it so first I'm gonna pause it okay so i've got the use straight i've got a variable connections which is a new connection dot hub connection builder dot so with the chat hub the one we registered on the startup so the next bit is we actually write the the receive message met, uh, method here which we've also got in a in a chat hub here so look you look at it very carefully then then of course you, you can write it yourself so we pause it look at it and write it then you come back to the next bit of course it's we actually st gonna start um the client so this bit yeah is we start the client connection so it's a connection dot start and then and then inside here we register the the button click we set it to we disable it here so send button if you look inside it in um, index.cshtml you can find that one over there so of course the last bit is to handle the, bu the button click event so we add an event listener with a, with a click and then we, we we handle it anytime the button is clicked so we actually invoke the send message method with that with with, with, um, with the other parameters right user and then the message so we've got the user here we get in it from the user input the message from the message input as well so this bit is also sorted out then so now what we do is to run application to see if it's working properly so we can click on control f5 or this bit here to run it so as you can see here now we've got we've got we've got it loading now so i'm just going to open another browser so that we get two browsers to check it so as you can see here now i've got two browsers so let's see what actually happens so first we put his name peter and let's say hello So we're just gonna refresh this bit here. So as you can see, Peter says hello. So we can also write, it, set a name for this. Harry. Then we could say, hello, Peter. So as you can see here, we've got Harry's, Harry's message sent. So I'm just gonna leave it here as it is. Yeah. So from here, obviously you can look on it and actually build on your knowledge on Signal R or ASP.NET Core Signal R. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Cause I've got lots of videos coming up, yeah? So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, peace.